Hey guys, uh, video here. I uh, have a lot of people ask me how I run 2.2 rims without getting any rubs on a stock setup on several of my vehicles. Uh, just want to show you guys. Basically, it's like a RC life hack. Um, I run 2.2 rims with the original Traxxas Canyon 1.9 tires. And a lot of people are intimidated by, you know, changing tires out, going to beadlock rims, um, all kinds of horror stories. Oh, they don't fit. Uh, put it in the freezer for an hour or two, you know, freeze the tire. It'll, it'll help or rubber bands around the outside to, to compress it, to conform to the rim while you're trying to put the beadlock on. Um, this is what I do. And believe me, once you tighten everything down on these rims, that tire is not coming out of there. Uh, first and foremost, um, if you pay attention to how I say to do it, it will it will work. It does work. I, I, I've been, I, basically, most of my Traxxas vehicles have this set up on them. Um, again, first and foremost. Get a brand new X-Acto blade. If you've used your other one or you think it's sharp or whatever the reason is, don't use it. Just get a brand new one because you're going to be cutting this rubber. And if you have an older blade or one that's not tip-top shape, you're going to end up ripping the tire or not being able to make a straight cut on it, which is paramount. You have to have a super straight edge on what I'm getting ready to show you to do. And this works on the Traxxas 1.9 canyons with you know uh, a factory a factory tire and wheel. I, I don't try it on other tires. Uh, this 1.9 is a the canyons. It's a good tire. I, I like how they perform. Um, so this is what I use, and this is what this will work on for sure. And uh, let me start by showing you how it goes. First thing you need to do, you're going to take your X-Acto knife, go down to the edge of the rim on the wheel, actually poke a hole in the tire, keep this blade, You're gonna, it's going to require a little bit of pressure, but you need to keep that blade as flat to on this rim face as you can it's the same thing on the back side once you get this side cut you're just going to go around the whole rim with your uh exacto knife you get that side cut you come over here you'll poke a little hole right there again the flat edge on that wheel keep the exacto knife pressed down on that as flat as possible and then go ahead and and cut your tire um, let me go ahead and do this one. I'll get it cut and then I'll come back and show you where we're at from there. Okay, I have the first side cut, as you can see. I can lift that up. You see the, the foam insert in there? And all I did was take my X-Acto knife, keep it pressed against the front edge of the, of the rim, and just make a circle just take small very small jabs at it don't try to jam your exacto knife all the way in there and and cut it you know that way and the reason for that is you're trying to protect the uh you're trying to protect the foam you don't want to slice your foam and then yeah, then you just create another issue. So yeah, just take small jabs and that way your foam will stay in perfect condition. Let me go ahead and uh, grab the backside on this and I'll be right back. Show you where to go from there. Now I have the backside cut. You can see the foam in there. Front side's cut. See the foam in there. Um, the only reason I, I can't show it on the video is I only have <laughs> uh, two hands and I needed both of them 
to you know make those cuts uh, the next step is take take this tire and foam off of the factory wheel and you end up with this right here as you can see I've done it several times and again if it's done correctly this is what you're after look at the edge on those it's almost as straight as it can be and again if it's done correctly you should be able to take a couple of these stack it on top of each other squeeze them together and that's the type of seam you would have in the middle that's just showing that you know you cut it straight and that's really what it needs to look like you have to have a straight cut on both sides so now that we've done that um, your 2.2 rims uh, I don't know all the makes and model of rims out there if this would work on those probably would uh, I'm not gonna say because that's, I don't I haven't tried it on all those rims but I get these rims here online you can get a set of four for like 40 bucks they're decent rims they're, they're quality pieces the only thing you have to watch out for on those is the the small bolts that go into the outer ring uh, when you tighten them down once once they're snug uh, stop tightening you, you'll strip the head out easy or snap the head but these are very good rims uh, they have a lot of different design choices uh, I usually just go ahead and put this ring on first instead of getting the tire on here and then trying to do all these bolts and stuff after it's on. Really the main bolts that are going to compress this whole thing are these five here on the, on the back anyway. Uh, so anyway, again, uh, pick these rims up online for about 40 bucks. I can go online all day and get uh, these Traxxas Canyons, a set of four, for about 30 to 35 bucks. Rail men tire glued together. Most of them are tape, brand new takeoffs from Traxxas vehicles. So you know, we're well under a hundred bucks. Or just use use your rims and tires that you have from your vehicle already and you're just down the 40 bucks for the 2.2 wheels. Um, next step is to go ahead and get this inner core ring in there. If you go with 2.2 uh, foams because you think this is a 2.2 rim, you need a 2.2 foam. That's not so. The foam is going to make this too big to where once you have this tire on there, it's going to spread it out beyond its um, original diameter. And then, again, you'll have rub issues. Um, just, again, follow what I'm saying here. Take your 2.2 core rim, squeeze it on the inside. This uh, inner foam will expand enough to to go around there and let me get that in there and I'll show you the next step now essentially what you did by cutting this tire off of this factory wheel is you cut the bead lock well these are glued so it's not really a bead lock but you cut the bead of the tire off and it stayed on the original uh, glued rim and the reason your straight cut was so important is here's what where the normal bead would sit on these rims there's, there's a little indentation here around the edges that's how the tire would sit and then lock down in that groove here's the reason for your super straight cut the tire actually sets down over that groove now remember you've cut the bead off 
so it, it doesn't actually snap in there but there's enough tire left that you've cut that it goes around this inner core perfectly and lays down in that groove I'll do the back side so you can see it here's the bead I haven't put the tire over that yet so here I go boom there it is the tire lays down in that bead you just don't have a bead on your tire but it still falls down into that bead lock and what's going to hold all this together is when you put your rim together you'll be able to see how much of this tire gets locked under under this rim and there's no way that tire is ever going to pull out once you get this assembled and what you want to do is find a location on the tire you can go by the writing um, any of the writing around on the tire you want to take this rim center it on that so you you have an even reveal all the way around with this writing I know it's hard to see on the camera but see how that it's almost the same on the writing all the way around once you get it to that go ahead and press this down now you can see the writing goes evenly around the edge of the the rim all the way around that's exactly what you want then you know you have this the tire is centered on here the rim is centered that's not coming out so just turn it over we're going to do the same thing with the back half of the wheel lining up these holes with the corresponding holes on the rim side you just put on and again you want to make sure the tire is lined up with the edge of this evenly all the way around you go ahead and push that down and there you can see again with the writing versus the edge of the wheel there's an even reveal all the way around and then the next thing you do is take your five bolts go ahead and tighten those up and once you get them started and they start to tighten they're going to take both halves of this 2.2 rim compress together with the tire locked in behind on each side I'll go ahead and do that and I'll be right back okay I have all the <clears throat> five bolts started and I'm just picking up here just to show you just get each one started just enough to grab and then what you want to do always make sure you you have this reveal is even all the way around and then tighten these up in a star pattern go over here do a little bit come over here basically just opposite sides of the rim on each time you tighten that way the the rim compresses evenly and uh, you know all everything is compressed and tightened up the same once you get the most important thing on this whole process is the tire foam when you take it off of the old rim put it on your new 2.2 wheel just just massage you know massage that tire foam all the way around and that way it fills in everything lays down the way it should a lot of times if you don't do that uh you'll get run it'll get on there a little crooked or the tire will be wedged to one side or another and then when you put the rim on your vehicle you're, you know you'll get a little run out wobble which you're not going to want doesn't look good um so anyway once i get everything tight and i got the rim ready to be installed on the vehicle i usually like to just take my millimeter wrench here put it in the middle and i'll go ahead and i'll i'll spin this 
and it'll give me a pretty good clue if that tire is on there straight or if I'm going to get a wobble. If I'm going to get a wobble, I'll find out which is the high side and which is the low side. You just have to back these bolts out, you know, straighten out your foam and then start over putting these bolts back in. So that's pretty much it. Your, your outside dimension never grew. You now have 2.2 .2 wheels with a 1.9 tire that looks legit, looks very good. It's not a lot of guys say, oh, I'll just stretch it over there. It's not a good look. Believe me, you can tell the tire is stretched. Um, I'll show you some of my vehicles, and you'd never, you'd never know it's a 2.2 .2 wheel with a 1.9 tire. I get people asking me this all the time. How did you do it? What's going on? Because, you know, they can't believe uh, some of the results that they see. And I have a bigger rim with the same profile tire. No rubs, no issues when I put it on the vehicle. So just to show that this was um, straight and true, I'll go ahead and install it on the left rear of this Bronco I have, and you can check it out there. Okay, here it is installed on the left rear of the Bronco. Go ahead and let you see a little bit of that roll. Okay. No wobble, no run out. It's nice and true. The width diameter is the same as your original. The height is the same as your original, except now you have a nice looking 2.2 .2 wheel with the same clearance that you had on your original wheel. So for 40 to 45 bucks, you're running 2.2s on your TRX4. And this will work on, you know, the Bronco, the Defender, whatever the TRX4 uh, platform is in, this will work. Um, I hope this helps some of you out. Those of you that wanted to try some 2.2s but were concerned with rubbing, this is a big way to get around that because a 2.2 rim with a 2.2 tire, it's too big. It's going to rub. And um, again, uh, I hope I explained it enough that it, it's not as intimidating, but it knocks out and cuts down on a lot of the headaches people have trying to uh, do a tire and wheel setup. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Um, appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Let me know if you try this. Let me know if it worked out for you. If there's something not working, watch the video again. Because what I said, how I did it, uh, I have several vehicles. Matter of fact, let me... Uh, Show you a couple of them real quick since I told you I would. Even there's one on on a trailer. There's another set on a Bronco there. And I have a different design on a Bronco here, but same scenario I just showed you in this video. But again. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Thanks again. See you on the next one.